Hey everyone, welcome back to the Woodland Reboot. The day has arrived. It is finally time to hop in the 9N Ford Tractor and pull this scaffolding, also known as the Roman Siege Tower, down the side of the building and get it in position at the other gable end so I can start putting that gable end together. You may want to check out what happens at around the 2 minute 20 second mark. I swear the darn thing just jumped out in front of me. Everyone enjoy. Hope you like the video. Okay, back to normal speed, wait for it. Ouch. I was pretty annoyed with myself, I wasn't thinking straight, and so I didn't set up any cameras to take shots of the repairs that I was doing, but you can hear me banging away here quite actively to uh, repair the damage. Okay, it happened, far from ideal. It's a little cosmetic damage that's fixed. The important thing is that the tower is in place and it's time for me to start to get busy. Okay, so there is the scaffolding slash Roman siege tower in place where I plan to work on it in the first spot in terms of the back side of the gable, the back wall gable. So, I can only get it so close to the side of the building. I'm about two feet. At the top of the scaffolding, it's about two feet away from the edge of the building. And you can see how close I am to the, to the building there. With my ladder in place, the first thing to do is to start installing some of the trim pieces that are needed in place before you can start attaching the siding. But what's great about this scaffolding is that I'm up here and I'm standing and I'm looking over the roof surface. And what I realized immediately is that for whatever reason, the guys that came in and did my roof panels for me, who did a great job, the entire roof, I can see the whole side over here, they missed about three or four of the screws in this corner of the roof material. So I just take a few minutes here and sock in a few screws.
Hey YouTube, I'm up here on the scaffolding. Give you a couple views from up here into the rafters inside the pole barn. Down the side. It's very stable up here guys. It's uh, working out better than I had imagined. And it's working out I think well because of the angle that I uh, designed into the scaffolding to take into account the taper with the landscaping away from the side of the foundation of the building. So uh, very, very pleased with that and uh, pleased because I feel safe up here. And I'm kneeling down here mainly because I'm working here in the very corner of the eaves of the gable, sorry, uh, getting these pieces in place, getting these trim pieces in place. in here is not easy. It became much easier to get the work done as I moved my way up the gable and away from the wall end of the gable end, if that makes any sense. I'm not exactly sure what that technical term is for being jammed in there right down where the sidewall meets the gable end. So I have the fascia trim and the gable siding trim and that separation trim there in place. So probably not later today, but when I get back uh, in the next few days, I'll probably be able to get three or four sheets in place before I need to start to get more trim in place. And I'll do that by driving the tractor forward when the time comes.
So the system really does appear to be working, the system being this scaffolding that has me about 12 feet off the ground, working right at the height of the bottom of the trusses, way up here in the pole barn. You can see that. So there we go. I'm going to reposition it before I head out tonight and put the tractor away. Working off of this scaffolding is a hands-down winner. I feel stable up there, I feel safe up there, and there just is no comparison with working from the ladders. The scaffolding is great. Okay everybody, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and hit that like button. See you soon.